Hello, welcome to Einstein Mechanics. Once again, today we are going to look at transpose of a matrix. The transpose of a matrix. So, assuming we are given a matrix of the form A equal to, say, A11, 1, 2, So we have this matrix of this form, and we are to find the transpose, the transpose of the matrix of A. What do we do? First, let's take note of these parameters. The transpose of a matrix A is going to be denoted by a transpose are you okay so at represent the transpose of matrix a so if i'm given a matrix b of the form the same a1 and say To transpose matrix B, we are going to have B transpose equal to something. So the transpose of a matrix is written with a T as the transpose. What does it mean to say a matrix is transposed? To say a matrix is transposed, one, this parameter needs to be fulfilled. To transpose a matrix, you interchange, you interchange the rows of the particular matrix you are to transpose with the column. With the columns, it's very simple. So, if you are given a particular matrix to Transpose just interchange the rows with the columns and you will be good to go. So pay attention here. If I have a matrix A in the matrix form given us so this is a matrix. and A33 as in this case and we are to find the transpose which is written as AT. We are going to interchange or replace the rows with the columns. So these are the rows. So this is row 1, row 1 and column 1. Are we okay? So we are going to interchange. So meaning the transpose of A is going to be row 1 or column 1 is going to replace this row. That is going to be A11, this A21, you see the trend, and this A31. Column 2 is going to replace row 2 for column 2. And that is also going to be A12, A22, and we are left with A32. Then the last column 3 is going to replace row 3. And that is going to give us A13, A23. And a three three. So this is the transpose of the matrix A, where the first column replaces the first row, the second column replaces the second row, and the third column replaces the third row. It's very simple. So let's look at this. Transpose find a transpose such that 
So we have to find a transpose such that our matrix A is giving us, let's take matrix A as 4, 1, 5, 2. And we have to transpose this matrix. So A transpose is going to be the first column is going to replace the first row. And that is going to be 4 and 5. The second column going to replace the second row, and that is 1 and 2. So this is the transposed of matrix A. Are we okay? Let's look at example 2, where we have to transpose a matrix. So find B transpose if matrix B is given us. So we have a particular matrix as one four seven we have two six one one four zero and we are to transpose this matrix how do we go by it so b transpose is going to be we are going to replace this is the first column to the first row so this is the first column we are going to put it on the first row that is going to be one two one the second column on the second row that is four six four and the third column on the third row which is seven one zero and we transpose this matrix are we okay let's look at the last example so find c transpose if C is equal to two zero one zero. Therefore, our transpose matrix is going to be this, which is two one, and this, which is zero zero. And we've transposed this matrix. There are some identities for the transpose that is true. Let's take note of this. So, one. So, these identities are true. Let's look at this. So, first we have a matrix adding another matrix transpose. The resource is equal to the individual transpose or the summation of the individual transpose matrix. When you sum two matrices and transpose the result, it's equal to transposing the individual matrices, then adding them. We will prove all this and see if it is true. Second one, the transpose of a transposed matrix is equal to the original matrix. So if I have a matrix A, which is transposed, if I transpose it again, I'm going to get back the original matrix. And if I multiply a factor by a matrix and transpose it, it's going to be the same as multiplying the factor by the transpose matrix. You solve examples on all these and prove if it is true. So here, where our k, this k is a scalar. So we multiply, we see how we multiply a matrix with a scalar. Pay attention to this one too. When we have two matrices multiplying and we transpose the results, it is equal to B transpose multiplying A transpose. Here the order matters. For this identity, the order matters. Are we okay? Remember, A, B transpose is not equal to A transpose, B transpose. This is not true, but this is true. Pay attention. I told you that for the multiplication of matrices, the order matters. It is B transpose multiplying A transpose, which is equal to that. Are we okay? So if we want to rewrite this, then it will be B, A, 
or transpose equal to A transpose multiplying B transpose. This way, that will work. Are we good? So, thank you for watching this episode. Check out for the next episode.